What's up everybody, Florian here from Fremen Creative and in this video we're going to have a look at local development for WordPress. So far we really have been using like one of my uh, old web hosting accounts that are still sitting around uh, to install WordPress and to uh, show you around a few things. Now let me be very clear that in order to learn WordPress you don't necessarily need to have a web hosting account. Of course, you need a, if you want to have a website out on the internet, you need, you need a web hosting account somewhere. Um, but to start developing for WordPress, you don't necessarily need to have one. So uh, there's plenty of solutions out there actually when it comes to um, installing WordPress locally. But the one that I want you, you uh, to drag your attention to is AMPS, that's spelled A-M-P-P-S. So um, AMPS is out at amps.com. So um, AMPS offers a um, all-in solution that uh, enables you to install all sorts of apps, not just WordPress, but also Magento and all sorts of other open source applications. Um, you can just go to the AMPS website, and this is, by the way, completely for free as well, and download AMPS. So um, you can, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So um, no matter what kind of uh, software, um, software platform you're running, uh, AMPS should have you covered. So you can go and download that and then just, um, just there's just a very normal installation procedure involved. So uh, now let's assume that we already have AMPS installed and then I will show you a little bit how it works. So um, in the case of Windows, and I'm not sure uh, whether this is different to, for example, um, Mac or Linux. In the case of Windows, uh, you get a little interface on the uh, right hand side of uh, your desktop so uh, it says in this case that Apache uh, is running, uh, PHP 5.5 is running and uh, MySQL is running. So um, those are really the things that you actually need for um, in order to run WordPress locally. In case you encountered some trouble with this, um, I've taught classes in the past where people were uh, having trouble actually getting, for example, uh, Apache up and running. Usually this has initially something to do, to do with, um, for example, still having Skype open or something like that. Uh, make sure to have that closed so that the appropriate ports um, for WordPress development are available. I think you can still uh, open Skype, for example, after you have launched AMPS. Um, I just assume that they will just take a different port. Uh, don't quote me on this though. Um, so basically uh, what we have here then is we can go and uh, click the little home button and that will take us to um, localhost slash amps. So um, this is only available to you. There is uh, no way for uh, outsiders to access this. So um, you can go and play in here a little bit if you want to. You can uh, do some uh, pretty cool things here. but for the sake of this course I'm just pointing out that you can install WordPress on here so on the left hand side you have all sorts of applications available to you so we can just go and select blogs here um, and the first one on the very top is already WordPress so there's other alternatives out there if you want to explore those feel free uh, I'm just gonna focus on WordPress so um, we can basically go and install uh, WordPress here so I will just select uh, here a directory from a creative course. You can select the table prefix again, my my blog, my WordPress blog. Um, you can set up a username and password. If you feel like setting up admin and pass, uh, that's on the local environment, that's okay. I would, however, uh, just for the sake of um, being consistent, um, I would not do that actually, also not on a local server. It's just, in fact, that you would allow it somewhere to be okay. Um, you wouldn't be the first one probably that would migrate a website like from a local host to a live server and still have the passwords there and they would get hacked within minutes if you were really unfortunate. So in this case, we'll just uh, set something up. So still not a particularly great password, but um, it works, it works at least for, for these purposes. So we can select a uh, admin, we can select language and we can also even in include theme already. I've never done that, like I will just 
set this up so install and we'll start downloading your package make sure that you remember this directory so uh, the stash room and creative course so it seems to take a moment because of the Wi-Fi, I guess it's downloading now. So basically where this is now going to be installed is uh, the location where you have AMPs installed. So um, so we can just go to, in my case, the C drive, program files, AMPs, WW, and then the uh, firm and creative course. And here you have the files of your WordPress installation. So this is the the point where you can start messing with things so um, you see for example here you see the 2017 folder so this is the theme of the um, of, of the default WordPress theme so uh, I can just go and open here the uh, front page uh, file and there we have it basically so it's uh, you know like it's okay that it uh, doesn't make sense to you uh, right here uh, what's going on here um, I can understand as well that this is, can be quite intimidating we won't be also messing with this just yet in the near future like in the coming um, hour or two of the course uh, we'll first focus on basically creating a landing page with as little effort as possible and um, after that we're probably first gonna start as uh, making some changes uh, to a uh, to a theme so some CSS edits and all of that so we're just gonna um, smoothly um, go into the slightly more advanced topics but for, um, it's just for you to uh, just give you like a first uh, look under the hood as to what's going on in WordPress so um, that's it for now um, thanks for watching this video and hope it was useful and uh, yes we're about to get started with the project so uh, hope you're excited. You hope you're as excited as I am, and uh, I catch you in the next video.